be with your breathing. Be with our rhythm. And release any tension, any worries and concerns. Be with the air that enters and leaves our body. November is here. <laughs> Powerful transitioning we all been going through. Um, to reflect back on the whole energy of this year, 2018, 11, powerful number, number of mastery, number of manifestation, number of divine mirrors, reflections, balance, harmony, creativity. It's such a beautiful year. And yes, has been very intense ride with all the planetary alignment, shifting through different zodiac signs, um, with the moon portals as well, and also the sun portals through eclipses. Beautiful timing and it hasn't been easy for all of us, has it? <laughs> but again, um, just to know that <clears throat> It's all about us walking the talk. It's all about us putting the love and light, the unity, the compassion, the forgiveness, the gentleness, the joy, the excitement into practice, into physical manifestation, action, choices, habits, personality, perception. All of this is shifting rapidly. And that makes sense because this year, 2018, is the year of um, the Earth Dog, according to Zodiac Sign. You, many of us will, um, relationships is a very interesting this year. The dog energy brings forth companion, loyalty, and of course, this also reminds us, are we loyal to ourselves? That our actions align with our inner morals? Do we create enough sacred space for ourselves to remain healthy, balanced, physically, emotionally, mentally, energetically? And also, people come in really quickly this year, and some of them, they leave really quickly this year as well, just to trigger certain things that need to be healed within us. Personally, I've been shown deep sense of lack of self-worth, deep fears of being abandoned. And this is all, yes, it, it's difficult just to accept that. But once it is accepted, it is all the chance and opportunities for me to really walk the talk, you know, whatever comes through to me, to um, the people who receive the transmission, I have to put that into practice as well. And I feel that this is what many of us is, are going through, all the shift of detachment, coming back into ourselves and really be in a space of gratitude of, yes, it's difficult. Yes, I almost died. Yes, I couldn't, I didn't even believe that I could survive. But you know what? <clears throat> It's all about for us to really ground into our feet, into our hands, into our mind, into our speech of the being of creators that we are. How do how are we manifesting from the mind? Um, I remember in October I did a little video mentioning about mastering the mind the mind work and I feel that this is going to be even stronger as we <clears throat> coming into the energy of 11 11 November 2018 and this powerful portal again this month 11 11 11 and as we speaking exchanging this frequency right now we're on the first of 11 1 1 1 1 and it's just that that frequency of initiation that frequency of mirroring togetherness um, oneness how are we manifesting, manifesting from here? 
And we still have the habit of going back into that mental thought patterns of victimhood, of suffering, of doubts, of fears, of certain belief system that we know that it doesn't serve, but we keep going back into it. And yes, this is all about for you and for me and for everyone to really align with the position of mental alchemy. The art of transforming the mind. I will leave the link down. Most of you will probably read this already. The Kibalion, I mentioned it in, in the ebook, in my Oracle card deck as well, that this text helped me so much. It's not modality. It's um, a, a, a book that mentions seven principles in the universe. And with this, these are the keys for us to utilize in self-development. Coming back to rewiring the mind, rewiring our perception is so important because we create from the thought realm, we create from the mind in this reality. Before we're going to draw something, before you're going to make something, the mind process it and then you anchor it in and transmit it out through your speech, through your hands, through the direction that you go through, the choices that we make. So the core um, key here to really flow and align with the energy of mastery manifestation in this month is to observe the mind and really kind of retrain your mind into alignment, of course, with the heart and into alignment what we already know deeply within. The frequency that we moving into whether it be um, starting a new job or welcoming in new hobbies whether it be letting go of certain people letting go of certain situation letting go of certain attitude personality and perception and this is very interesting thing we're getting into now attitude perception and reactions observe they also are reflections that we share within our family members these falls into the healing of relationships as well not just romantic relationship or friendship but it's also um, within the family members and know that when you offer peace to yourself and to anyone in this moment of time, you offer, you offer peace, you transmit that frequency through all timelines, through all space, limitless and beyond. Because we are moving in the spiral and between the spiral we can jump and hop across different points on the spiral. So just meditate and go within. And take it all as a blessing and to really see what it is that you need to shift to another side of the pole. When there's fear, there's courage. When there's trust, there's also doubt. When there's love, there's hate. When there's dark, there's light. You know, all the, all under the manifestation of oneness. It's nothing separated, it's just different polarities. And another aspect is the union of the divine masculine and feminine within. Yes, many people have been encounter intense soul connections with many different people this year, and there's all the blessing as well, whether it trigger pleasure or pain. But just to remind yourself that we are in halls of mirrors. Every situation, every people come into our life to reflect what is deeply that needed to be released and heal and rewire, remind, rewrite within our body, within our emotions, within our mind, within the Akashic records. And the body is a very interesting thing. It's a very potent time for us to rewire our body. Simply meditate, place your hands or channel your focus and your heart love into any place in your of your body that that you know that needs love and just really comfort it reassure your own body of 
the power of healing that it has and of course this is going to affect what you put into your body as well and the habits to really for you to empower yourself and take care of this vessel emotionally um, emotions are energy in motion do not suppress embrace in the way that you remain as an observer feel it as in the way that you remain as an observer experience it in the way that you remain as an observer we are creator and we have choice what to co-create with any sense of fear any sense of anger any sense of frustration any sense of sadness yes they have root within us once we observe we navigate without playing a role into um, the victim state of being but rather observe and feel and heal from the state of the cause rather than being the effect and hints of this will be in the book that i'm going the kibalion that i'm going to put in the description box as well highly recommend it's something that should be taught in school really <laughs> um and mental we, we spoke about the mental realm already the mind it's a magical thing it's a powerful thing and as we're moving away from the old construct rewrite it with joy as if we are rebirthing into the shout of knowing nothing not knowing the word what racism is what um, judgment is what fear of lack is it's just full eyes we would wonder like wow I'm blank and this is such a fun place to be in so many things to explore that wonder of the child of an inner child of the divine child within and at the same time practice self-love in the way that you become the divine parents to yourself i'm not sure if you can hear the helicopter <laughs> no ice cream truck truck today just a helicopter <laughs> okay so i hope that should give you feel things to navigate along the energy of november and also carrying us into december December, I feel, is going to be a lot of inner shout, a lot of expansion, the union between the, th the three, Divine Mother, Divine Father, Divine Child. Whatever number three resonates with you, and that's going to carry us into the year 2019 as well. Number 12, again, number three. Really powerful loop we ending. I'm feeling that we're completing a cycle. I'm feeling that... The, the more self-development we're doing, we're going to ride this wave more in joy, more in the space of with um, the Buddha nature or the Christ consciousness, whatever term you resonate with. And yeah, blessing and blessing to you. Before I go, let us offer a little light language transmission. Unifying consciousness of the sun, the divine mirror, the divine image of unity consciousness. Sanakio.
I'll show you if you can hear the dog jamming is the neighbor dog. I've never seen that dog. <laughs> oh, and before we go, um, I would like to invite you to live telesubmit. Um, telesubmit with you awakening again on the 6th of November, 2 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern time. Um, my time in Thailand will be 1 a.m. <laughs> I will leave the link. It's a free sign up for you to receive other inspirational talks and activation from many um, lovely souls. And also, if you sign up, you will get notification of upcoming live and replays. Also, a special offers. Um, it's always nice to sit and feel everyone's vibration during the live show and I really really enjoy it so I would like you guys to come and join and uh, the topic of the live show in on the 6th of November will be about sun DNA codes activation and transmutation and this will also give you all more keys and inspiration and you can call it activation in order to boost your to inspire you to align yourself with the mind of the creator with a state of being of empowerment so i hope you all can join now that's it i'll leave all the links um link to the book link to the video and link to free sign up for the live show in the description box thank you once again for your time for tuning in for leaving lovely comments below and um, thank you for subscribing and if you feel drawn to support me further of course you can visit my website and see whatever I offer resonate with you um, have a beautiful November it is powerful time <laughs> thank you namaste